considering the shock. The only way to come out of it may have been to deny it happened. Amnesia. The men were butchered, but the guns were still there. Nobody touched them. It doesn't make sense. It's got to be the 28K. Come on, Dad. It's time you taught those Hong Kong bastards not to mess with us. Roberto, find out where they are and set up a strike as soon as possible. Don't sweat it. We'll come out on top. The most powerful family in the country. <laughs> And you'll be the next president. <laughs> A thousand hostile dinks in our free fire zone, and we can't kill any of them. Now I know that breaks your fucking hearts. Mine too. But our objective in this situation is a purely defensive one. Keep the flip from turning Corporal McKee's young ass into a dobo. When the smoke clears and the dust settles, I had best not see one dead Filipino. I got two words for you. Semper Fidelis, the motto of the United States Marine Corps. The motto that every swinging neck here swore to defend. The same one that our brother Marine inside would die for if he were out here with you. Feeling better? Yeah, I think I just need something to eat. Congratulations, Senator, on this very happy day. Pleased to have you, Admiral. Thank you. Have you met my youngest? RJ. Yes, I remember RJ. He was tugging on my sleeve just a minute ago. What's he doing here? Senator, Andy's my escort. Strange choice. I thought you might have chosen someone with a little sympathy for my family. I dearly love your family. And everyone knows you give great parties. That's enough, Buck. Admiral, any comments on the Silver Eagle murders? This is a party, Miss Gale, not a press conference. Yes, Admiral. Why don't you tell us what the Navy is doing to protect us from that psychotic assassin? Corporal McKee is currently under guard in the brig infirmary. So is McKee going to stand trial? Of course not, Miss Gale. The Navy thinks it's above the law. Just like your government does with a basis. That is not a topic that I am at liberty to discuss, Senator. Excuse me, Miss Gale. Hey, you know something, asshole? I know you don't think for one second that one drunk marine could do all that. Throw him out. Come with me, Mr. Buck. Easy, guys. Up, 
some gas in on you. Sir, he got away. First Sergeant, you just fucked up big time! 